on St. Jean Street. Tonight, the board is asking parents to track the latest information. I.E. Davo Sweeney, Nick Saban. Hardball right in now. In a quarter mile, fresh left on the first no ball street. Oh, but I don't have an agent. Yeah, you got a lawyer. And you know what he can do? Oh, you don't want to pay me a little more? You want to pay me what Nick's getting? Well, it'd be a real shame if uh, it went back to the league. And all it would take is one report. All it would take is Adam Schefter. You leak it right out. Can you imagine the furor some fans are going to have if Harbaugh gets a big raise? I mean, 10% is bad enough. Can you imagine if Harbaugh comes back and rebrokers the deal? Ward Manuel already basically wrote his own death certificate. I want Jim to retire in Michigan. Can you imagine? Oh, no, you can't. And think about it. He's got sure. the media doing his work for him. With what we're going to play at the top of the hour? I mean, the Joel Klatz, the Greenbergs, the Stonies, the Wojos, it's not Harbaugh's fault. The expectations are the devil. If it's either way out, if, is it? Well, listen. When you go back to the league, it's millionaires working for billion. Our ball would lose this consequence-free environment he works. It would be gone. But the only way Harbaugh leaves is if he views it as hopeless at Michigan. Or a better one, sexier one, is when you get the coach who gets all butthurt. They don't appreciate me. When, like if, if he somehow feels like his greatness is not being fully absorbed. Well, then it would be the situation you go. I, I'm not propagating any rumors. I'm not going to sit here and fuel it. I'll sit back, relax, see what comes up. I'd be surprised because he's got the best gig of all. Raise your family in a great town. Live next to your pops. You got no damn consequences. You get to bully everybody. And quite frankly, you're basically the most overpaid guy in, in the country. I mean, it's, it's Dabo, Nick, you. And the other two guys got rings. And hell, you got the media spinning it for you. And I'm not even talking about the rinky-dink media in Ann Arbor. I'm talking about Detroit, National, whatever. They're all spinning for you. It's not Jim's fault. It's ours. We expect it too much. Oh, the Michigan program, he's hitting the number. He's just, he's doing exactly what he was brought here to do. Mind you, if we pulled the sound bites from five years ago, yeah, Joel Klatt, Jim Harbaugh, is the best football coach in America. Those are his words. His words. Plus 300 for Jim Harbaugh. Huh? Isn't this, too? Yeah, a bonus cocktail loaded pick. You can lay uh, lay those oh, odds. But no, I, it, it, wouldn't it just make sense? I, Everyone can get out of it. The, the program can say, hey, Harp, thank you to Harbaugh for coming here for five years. He clearly got this program into a yeah, better place. Thanks for coming back and being Gary Moeller minus the Grand Marnier. No, but they could sell that. <laughs> they, could, they could sell that as a way up. Hey, we know he's not getting it done. And he's not beating his rivals, but he clearly left the program oh, in a better but spot. He got us back on track. Yeah, thank you. And now he's taking a job at the NFL. He's not insulting Michigan, but he's rising to the NFL. It's the only way out for a fan who wants to move. They will never fire. In one mile, turn right on 12 minutes. Same with MSU and D'Antonio. No, neither, no. neither will ever get fired. No. But do you buy? See, you know the problem I have? I feel like this is kind of that boring annual passage of our water NFL season. I just don't believe it. Because, all right, the only way you show me a report that says Team A doubled Harbaugh's salary and gave him complete control of football ops, that might be, that might be interesting. Complete authority over player personnel. And we take you to $14 million. Oh, excuse me, you got an $800,000 raise today. We take him to something unprecedented like $15 million. You show me that, I go, well, maybe you look at it. The truth of the matter is, he's got more money than he'll ever spend. He's living in the cocoon, the cult of Ann Arbor. It's clear, as angry as fans get, I don't think enough of the right ones have turned on. I just... I don't know, man. What's the consequence? 
He has no boss. He's never getting fired. Hell, they may open a review of his contract and give him a raise. Can you imagine? Oh, and five against LSU, they're going to give him a raise. He gets that interest-free loan from the life insurance policy that he can dip into. He's getting a set up here. He'll never get the NFL. The NFL, you are working for someone who is smarter than you, richer than you, and frankly, is going to demand a lot of you. Harbaugh already got a taste of it. Here? I don't know. I, I mean, I'd love to take calls. I, I, I don't I don't know. I don't want to take calls. Like, that makes me feel dirty. Because I don't think it's real. But you do what you want. 248 I'll...
players are too. Tip off of the game is set for seven. Michigan State, meanwhile, playing host to Duke out of the Breslin Center. And then Coach Tom Mitchell says a game like this is big for the team, the fans, and college basketball as a whole. Well, for us, it doesn't get much bigger or better than this. I think it's a great opportunity um, for our team and challenge ourselves against one of the premier programs in the country. But uh, besides that, I think for our fans, you know, it's I've played a lot of people and we play anybody, any place, any time. But we don't always get to play them in a home and home. Tip off of that one is set for 9:30. Other games tonight have Western playing host to Oakland, Detroit Mercy at Kent State, and Eastern Michigan entertaining Valpo. Pistons also on the hardwood this evening. They're looking for their first two-game winning streak of the year as they battle with the Cavs down in Cleveland. We'll tip it off just after 7. The Rutgers has made an official with Greg Schiano, bringing the former head coach back as their new head coach after inking an eight-year deal for $32 million. For the ticket update, Dennis, I'm Ryan Woolley for more.
you've heard it from Bojo and Stone and 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 and, and Doug and and then Nashville and Platt and, and Greeno. These people running to defend Harbaugh, or, or the best part is like like Stoney or Bojo to go. Well, I'm not defending him. We're not saying anything. Like that. His job should be called into question. Period. If we're up to me, I agree with Harbaugh. He has done nothing impressive. Nothing. He's won 80 percent of his games. That's really not that difficult. Yeah, well, did you see how bad Rich Rod was? Yeah. So who's making that hires? It happens. MSU hired Muddy Waters, Bobby, John L. It happens. That's not Michigan football. That's a mistake. Jim Harbaugh winning, you know, losing to the best three teams they play every year? That's not, come on, that's, that, that is not why you want that. And that's largely what he's done. What, I mean, what are we doing here exactly? Jim Harbaugh today got a 10% raise. Got an $800,000 raise today. He might be in line for more if you read about his contract. You want to tell me that Michigan shouldn't be striving. So let me get this straight. Texas went a while without an Addy. Should Texas give up being OU? Trying to beat them? Should LSU have given up beating Bama? Oh, I know. Georgia should have quit because Mark Rick fell on his, uh, fell on his face and couldn't get it done, right? just tell you this. When I hear opinions like this, it makes me feel like these people are on the table. It just makes me feel like they're getting a basket stuff for money. But then again, Greeny makes six, seven million bucks. You know what I mean? It's such a bad take. It's such an overtly, obnoxiously bad take. I don't even know what to do. I don't. Jim Marble <coughs> was paid handsomely and recruited home.
971 the ticket now at 97136. Ticket text brought to you by La Fontaine Kia of Dearborn. Home of the family deal. Find over 5,000 new and pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs daily at FamilyDeal.com. The station with the most important guest. to make a bunch of people mad because it is true and nothing hurts quite like the truth and here it comes jim harbaugh is being belittled criticized and diminished because of a false perception about the program that he leads but just to say the university of michigan is not and has not for a very long time been among the truly elite football programs in america that was true before harbaugh arrived and is true today and it will probably be true long after he leaves yeah great here's what else is true if you're the head coach of Georgia and you don't beat Florida for five years and you don't win the SEC or play for it, you're not the coach of Georgia anymore. It's why Mark Rick ended up getting bounced. Like, what are we talking about? Seriously, when did Jim Harbaugh become a charity case? Go ahead, Mike, quickly, and then we'll get to the But I also, Mike, I mean, on a deeper level, I think this narrative that people are saying, too, is also for a way to them... For, the, for these people to try to act like they're criticizing Michigan, too. It's faux criticism. Oh, no. Yeah, Michigan, yeah, Michigan's program's been bad, so, you know, we can't have, have that expectation. They think they're criticizing Michigan, but they're really not. Yeah, no, it's faux criticism. It's so they can act like they're doing their job, even if they're too damn scared to do it. Like, who cares? Honestly, what's Harbaugh not going to come over for Christmas Eve? Who cares? Like, the world could end tomorrow. Who gives a damn if any of these people like you? Guys making $8 million a year. We can't we can't say his job should be up for grabs. He hasn't done a damn thing. You nuts. Well, Mike, I was sitting here Googling and trying to find things of after he was hired an article. Found one, foxsports.com. It says Michigan fans celebrate Tuesday. What could be the program's equivalent of saving to Bama or Urban Meyer to Ohio State? Q soundbite of Stoney. Not the expectations. I just have lowered him. Hold on, there's more. Suddenly, a conference with a largely uninspiring coaching roster will now boast two of the three biggest names in college coaching in Harbaugh and Meyer, and they're going to be arch rivals at the conference's most high profile programs. Give Harbaugh two years and you'll have them back. Oh, good. There you go. We're five years deep, and he's giving up to 63 and 56, 57. Go to Mark, 97.1. Hi, Mark. Hey, Mike. Mark, it's, um, it's great. What's up? Real quick on Michigan State, then I'll have a question. Mm -hmm. um, the Mickey Mouse athletic department with no leadership doesn't do the things that are necessary, like City Mark Antonio down and tell them, you will make that to just yep. work on it. It's a Mickey Mouse operation. It is. Eliminate on, Stan. On Harbaugh and these, these whistle sippers in the media, and that's what they are. They genuflect these coaches. They worship these coaches. And tell me, is Michigan the richest brand in the country? Yes. And if they're not the richest, are they well with it? In the I think Michigan is right there with Texas. They have unlimited resources. And you mean to tell me the richest brand in the country is so such recruiting and player development malpractice that a kid named Jordan Glasgow is a starting linebacker? <laughs> yeah, how about, that, how about this? That, uh, Mark, here's the other malpractice the Michigan fans don't want to talk about. Look what their D-line has turned into. You know what I'm saying? Look how they can get pounded upon. I mean, people bang on Don Brown, and, and I'm sure you know, some of the teams are, are you know, not good against Ohio State, whatever. But if you don't got the players, it doesn't matter. All these guys can never know somewhat. They can all talk board up football scheme to play. It's about players. And what happens is Ohio State's not recruiting Ohio like they used to. They're going national. He doesn't go into Ohio. And Brad, he's got six kids from Ohio in the problem. Six. Which is crazy to me because the Ohio kids have been the bread and butter of what Michigan football was about in the glory days. Hey, those kids take that rivalry serious. They're smart. They're tough. High school football in Ohio is elite. Mark, Mark, I don't get it. Don't look at me. It's, it's the richest program in the country, and, and but the expectations are too high. That's insane. That's an insult to all the Michigan fans out there Agreed. that are buying shirts, that are buying tickets, that are funding that program. 
to the tune of 130 million dollars a year and i looked it up that's what their revenues are oh, yeah. they outspend they outspend ohio state I mean, anytime Jim Harbaugh wants a new assistant, million bucks, no problem. Anytime you want a new analyst, no problem. New facility, new this, new that, new trips, new this. Mark, you got the best of the best. You got everything. The idea he can't be expected to accomplish anything of note. That is, Mark, I feel like I'm in La La Land. It, 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 look, they want the romantic story of Jim Harbaugh be this Michigan man that comes home to Michigan and leads, you know, the, uh, the, the, um, you know, the, 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 the little bows yeah. out there. Well, it's funny, it's funny, too, because then you get the Wojos of the world, and they're like, what? He has brought them back. They've always been this. And you're like, nah, don't play that game. They used to win the Big Ten. They beat OSU. Cut it out. It is cut it out. No one's talking about winning the national title. No one's asking for that. But to be able to go out, I mean, come on. The last two years, they've given up 130 points to Ohio State. What are we doing here? Is the gap getting closer or wider? Hell, Ohio State had to get rid of the best coach in school history. Newsflash, Urban's better than Woody. Urban Meyer's one of the great college football coaches in history. They had to get rid of him. Seamless transition. Ryan Day made them better. They're a machine. They went after your top two recruiters. Took them. And don't act like you're not playing the game. Patrick's, look, look at Patrick. He was so shady, Rutgers didn't want anything to do with him. Now, and then, boom, he's on your staff. Oh, look, I'm hiring this kid's father, this kid's guardian, this guy, this guy's mom. You did it all. You've oversigned. You've processed. You've done it all. Harbaugh's doing everything he can do. It's not good enough. It isn't working. Why shouldn't it fall at his feet? You run a company, that company's stock price ain't any good, they're knocking on your door. They're not going to see the secretary. They're not going to talk to the, the head of HR. They're coming to the CEO. Harbaugh's the CEO of the brand that is Michigan football. It ain't good enough. Why the hell should a fan lower their expectation? My head would explode if I were a Michigan fan here now. Can you imagine? big stadium, the brand. We got all the media lackeys in our pocket. We Hell, we got alums. We got Desmond. We got Woodson. We got guys like Clatt and Coward and Green and We got it all. More money, great college town, great university. Our helmets have wings. We got it all. And I got to listen to these, this Dinkus. To, and, and Dinkus is like Woj telling me, well, I mean, what do you want? I mean, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't brought here for that. I mean, he's doing a nice job. Hey! That's just, that's just no practice. That's that's no Brad, follow the Brad. Hi, Brad, how you doing, buddy? Hey, what's up, Mike? How you doing? I'm good. What's going on? Oh, you know what? I'm a Spartan, and I got to tell you, on Saturday, when I heard about these hats, oh my, my stomach dropped. I looked at my buddy and said, oh, my God, Mike, I had to go to my Twitter. And delete all of my trolling tweets about Michigan and Ohio State because I wasn't going to let my Michigan buddies beat me to the punch once I heard about this hat. It's like the Flint Tropic Mega Bowl, and instead of Jackie Moon like, wheeling out a six foot trophy, <laughs> we're handed out half. Program win. Program win. Like, oh my gosh. I mean, and thank you for all you've done, Mark. Thank you. You know, the trips to India with my brother, all that stuff is great. But it's like getting lucky at a bar with a girl, and the next morning she's cooking your breakfast. Like, it was great, but just leave. Just leave. <laughs> Listen, Brett, Brad, honestly, what was sadder is he goes, well, you know, we did this in 2012, and look at how 13 happened. I mean, Brad, this is turning, this is turning into nostalgic grandpa time. It is. It's like your uncle Pappy at your family reunion yep. who's picking food off your plate. Yep. It's like, what, is, what are we doing? Uh, Brent, Herm Edwards. Herm Edwards is 100 years old. They won yeah. seven games. They beat Arizona, their in-state rival. Herm Edwards blasted out his OC, his wideout coach, and his tight ends coach. We're still sitting here with oh, Jim Bowman in a Panama Jack hat. Oh, it's absurd. Today I heard Gators saying, like, that he still thinks that he will either leave or be forced out. Based on what? Everything idea. points to him. He, he ain't going nowhere. 
Oh, well, I hope Scott's right. And if Scott's got sources on it, God bless. Great score for him. I, I have heard nothing of the sort. I, I think I, I think I know from people I talk to. I mean, he'll he'll have a sacrificial offering. It'll be like Bowman and Treadwell. Right. And, and, yeah. And what are we gonna bring in? Somebody who went to church with the Trestles at one point. Like it's. A, He's not going to be able to go out and get a young, energetic, great recruiter. What guy is going to hitch his wagon to Mark at this stage of his career? You'd have to be an absolute fool. An absolute fool. He'd be a mania. Yeah, no, I, Brad, listen, believe me. It's a good thing the Harbaugh thing is taking a lot of air in the room because I, I've, I'm losing my mind with MSU internally. I'm like a furnace. Oh, yeah. It was the one great thing. It was the greatest thing about that all you ever seen, man, is once I heard about the half thing, I'm like... Oh, man, at least, at least Monday I won't have to hear about the hats. Like, oh, my God. Program win. Uh, I mean, can you imagine? Oh. That's like Roberto doing a good song. We give him a good show hat. I mean, it's pathetic. <laughs> Do your job. Do your job. Make it a bold your job. Yeah, Roberto, I'm going to get you a nice song hat. Yeah, Sully, Sully didn't drop an F-bomb on the air. Good segment hat. Uh, you'd probably give me, I'd probably need more of something like a dunce cap. Would help. Speaking of dunce cap, look what just rolled into the building. Hey! Yeah, he's right over there. Can't wait for him to try his old word games. Maybe we'll see if he agrees with me. Well, yes. Let's just talk a little NFL. I'll take a few more of your calls. And I, I don't know what Wojo's going to give you. I'm sorry, guys. I don't control the other programs. 97. Uh, what I control is Coppercraft Distillery and the fact that you can go and use my promo code, Sully19, coppercraftdistillery.com. I, I, I got a different pro promo code written down on my sheet. What's that? Mexicans. Yeah. Well, don't don't try to use that one. Breasts. Breasts. I, I, no, no, no. Breasts. No, don't, do not punch in any of those promo codes at Coppercraft. Use promo code NUDIES. I don't want the team at Coppercraft getting mad at me because people are punching in a bunch of different promo codes. Instead, you punch in Sully19 promo code. You'll get 15% off your entire order, guys. If you're looking to have a, a good holiday purchase, nice gift set for somebody, whether it's, you can actually get a nice, they have a couple different whiskey bottle gift sets. If you know someone who loves bourbon, right, or any of their products, whether it's vodka, gin, whatever, it's a great opportunity to go buy a holiday gift for them at a great discount, 15% off your entire order. Coppercraftdistillery.com, you can shop around, buy any of their great drinks, their bottles, certainly any of the gear as well. That's coppercraftdistillery.com, code Sully19 for 15% off your entire order. 97.1 The Ticket Traffic. This report brought to you by Mastercraft Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. There's a wreck on the right shoulder, 696 eastbound just after Hoover. Another accident blocking the left lane and shoulder, 94 westbound at US 23. Then look for traffic signals not working correctly. E-course at Beach Daily and Middlebelt at North Line and Goddard near Metro Airport. For same-day service of your furnace or plumbing, call Mastercraft Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. 37 years of the business. A-plus Better Business Bureau rating. Mastercraft Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. 800-924-2123. Mastercrafthheating.com. I'm Michelle Pena on the W. 24-hour traffic stop. When donating your car, you want to donate it where it will do the most good, and that's Mother Waddles. Rick Frazier here to remind you that not only is Mother Waddles Detroit's oldest and most respected car donation program, but that the Mother Waddles mission has also been helping the poorest of the poor for well over 50 years now. So if you have an extra car and you can use a great tax deduction, then put that old car to good use and donate it to Mother Waddles. Tens of thousands of satisfied car donors have enjoyed tax savings while helping Mother Waddles to help others. So please do your part and donate your car to Mother Waddles. Remember, folks, don't take chances with your car donation. Go with the leader, and that's Mother Waddles. Simply call Mother Waddles today at 313 Waddles or donate your car online at motherwaddles.org. Mother Waddles, a name you can trust. Call today, 313 Waddles. That's 313-W-A-D-D-L-E-S. Christmas is coming and you have shopping to do. For your grandmother, who'd love a new ski helmet. Your nephew, who's asking for toys. And your mom, who doesn't want you to make a fuss but thinks a cashmere sweater might be nice. Sierra has gifts for all the folks on your list who love to get active and outside. Insulated jackets, boots, snow gear, and warm socks. Fast selection, epic brands, teeny tiny prices. That's Sierra. Sierra is part of the TJ Maxx family. 
head over to the Sierra store at Novi Town Center. Welcome to this ad for a new subway slider starting at $189 each. How do you want it? Cheer squad. cold and flu symptoms try nyquil severe the nighttime sniffling sneezing coughing aching stuffy head best sleep with a cold medicine in one Use directed, a keep in reach of for a smarter holiday home come to the home depot where right now the google nest learning thermostat is a very smart 70 dollars off and save 50 bucks on the google nest hub adjust the thermostat from across the room at a holiday party get recipes from google hub and right now do it for less. Get holiday savings now on Google Nest, only at the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. U.S. only limit two per customer cannot combine with any other offer valid through December 4th. Sports news all day, every day. Vikings out in Minnesota with Detroit entering the contest, dropping five straight in eight of their last nine. Trey Flowers was asked how head coach Matt Patricia is handling the losing. I can say no one likes losing. Nobody, I'm pretty sure no one likes losing. So I don't know if I don't like to lose. We want to win. So uh, I don't know as much as I like dealing with it, but I know no one likes when everybody wants to win. So yeah, everybody pushing towards it. As he continues to get hot for Cowboys head coach Jason Garrett, team owner Jerry Jones asked about Garrett's future in the league. Said Garrett is qualified to coach and will be a coach in the NFL next year. Just so stop shy of saying it will be in Dallas. Big Ten ACC Challenge beginning tonight for both Michigan and Michigan State. Fourth ranked Wolverines taking on top ranked Louisville will tip it off at 7 30. Michigan State, meanwhile, playing in the nightcap. They play host to Duke in the Breslin Center. And head coach Tom Izzo says games like these are why kids go to the schools they do. As I said, it is great for our fans. I think the atmosphere will be up the charts. I told our team yesterday that, uh, you know, again, there's certain reasons you go to certain schools. And uh, I think one of the reasons you come here is you get a chance to play in these kind of games. Um, and that's what everybody wants. Tip-off is at 9.30, and the Pistons looking to make it back-to-back -back wins for the first time all season tonight. It's are in Cleveland against the Cavs. Let's get it going just after 7. On the ticket update desk, I'm Ryan Woolley. For more, go to 97 on the ticket, radio.com.
I'm so sick and tired of them. Russell Wilson's fabulous, but this is ridiculous. Now, now that my bitterness is done, man, they oh, are. Last night, yeah. Man, they are good. No, I mean, look. But listen, they continue to go out. Hey, we'll grab Josh Gordon off the scrap heap. Hey, we're on our seventh tight end of the year. Hey, we got a couple of good running backs. You know, like they're able to just go out and keep it all moving. Need a big turnover? We got it. Need a special teams play? We got it. Mike, I don't think they're Super Bowl caliber. I think their defense is is, is poor to, to very poor. But yeah, Mike, there, nobody wants to line up and play them. Nobody's going to be excited to see them in four weeks, five weeks, let me, let me ask this one, playoff related. This isn't a, uh, I guess, one you can give just a hard definitive answer on, but kind of an abstract one. Whoever is the number one seed with home field in the NFC will win it all. New Orleans, Seattle, or San Fran. Home field advantage yeah. is everything on the NFC side this season. I agree with it. I mean, obviously, for New Orleans, it's mandatory. For Seattle, they probably get the biggest benefit of anyone. Uh, and for San Francisco, yeah, I, I could make that case. Yeah, Mike, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. You better get the one seed if you plan on, on getting it done. Because do I see Seattle going to New Orleans? No. Do I see Frisco going to New Orleans? No. Like, play that round robin. If Seattle gets it, do I see Frisco going into Seattle? No, probably not. But that's the most likely of the, of the three. If Seattle got it, but Frisco went to them, that one with that power running game and that defense, that might be the one of the combinations. Patriots won't get one of the top two seeds in the AFC. Yeah, I probably agree with it. Bills will win that division. Mm -hmm. Can we go that far, though? No. Part two. I still think the Bills are going to put up a stinker somewhere and it'll cost them. But this the Patriots are just toast. I mean, come on, man. Brady looks awful. They got no weapons. The old line's not good. It's just when it goes, it goes, right? It's got to go, right? No? <laughs> Please? I can't see them in the Super Bowl again. All right. So no Big Ben. Bell Brown, long gone. Yeah, your Steelers are still in the play. No Juju, no Connor, no Pouncey, four-string quarterback. If the Steelers make the playoffs... Mike Tomlin, Tomlin should be coach of the, of the year, but yet Mike Tomlin is on the hot seat. Well, according to rumors, yes, but... Rumors. Should he be coach of the year? I um, think yeah, I could absolutely make the case. No question. And again, it's why the Lions don't have an excuse. Things go wrong, nobody cares. Work harder. Steelers are 7-5. Up until the last two weeks, the Panthers were in the playoffs. Like, nobody cares. Keep going. Big and juicy rumor. That's right. That's right. I got a big, juicy, bold take for you here. And I don't know if you we can... consider ourselves team partners. I don't know if you can, if you can even handle how bold this take is. Mm. Sean McVay is the fourth best coach in the NFC West. Disagree. Because I think Pete Carroll is actually one of the biggest frauds in all of football. All Pete Carroll is is a rah-rah guy. He's not some X's and O's genius. He was a rah-rah guy with USC. He's a rah-rah guy now. Pete Carroll's biggest talent is he's 70 and he can still walk around. So, no, I, I, I just I disagree with that totally. I think Pete Carroll's the worst coach in that. Well, Kingsbury. No, I got to put Kingsbury, then Carroll, then, then we get to McVay and Shannon. Texans, second best team in the AFC behind Baltimore. Mm, can't do it. I'll still go Kansas City. I can't trust the Texans, man. Bill O'Brien's a boob. That team, every time it's a big game and I trust them, they let me down and take a pie to the face. I can't do it. I'd still take Kansas City, even with all their flaws. But the best way to explain it is, you know, with Fox Sports Detroit, we're, we're, we consider ourselves a team partner. Come on, man. All right, next one. Kirk Cousins Come is on, not man. the Vikings' issue this season. He's not. Instead, the Vikings' issue is their overpaid defense. Yeah, 100%. Look at last night. You had Xavier Rhodes pouting on the sidelines, getting toasted to a crisp. Pass rush isn't as fierce as it used to be. Um, no, the defense blows. I mean, bottom line, you can't give up 37 points on the road. It's just, that's ridiculous. And their defense has let him down all year long. But Cousins is still a problem. I don't want to hear it. There were opportunities last night. But yes, the defense will be number one. Who wants pizza? A few more to rapid fire here. Jaguars made a mistake signing Nick Foles. I hate to say this one. You answer it. 
You answered it. You. Well, he, you. The injury, you. the injury you. really set him back. You. Okay. You. <laughs> I told you they were gonna suck, and he was no good. The injury set him back. I can't blame him for that. You. All right. No NFC East team will finish with a winning record. <laughs> Someone could win that division seven and nine. How bad does that make the Giants? We're gonna go two and fourteen. Yeah, I could buy that. Eagles are boy, the Eagles got problems. You want to talk about something that's more than talent? That's a locker room problem. Holy mercy, are the Eagles bad? Last one. Philip Rivers is playing his final month yep. as a Charger. Yeah. Again, no one's gonna pay him the twenty-five million he commands. He looks old. He looks like he's done, like Brady. And really. You don't even like playing in L.A. Guy rides in a conversion van up the coast every day to go and do what he's got to do. I just, yeah, man, I think it's done, and it's sad, and I, I, that's why last year was his time. That was the Lord's time for Philip Rivers, and it didn't happen. Tom Brady and his genetically altered ass put a bullet in him. I'll give you a bonus one I just thought of. Giants and Redskins could both realistically draft a quarterback again. No, no, the Giants aren't doing that. Redskins could. The Giants aren't doing it. The Giants are, are, are like the Mark D'Antonio of football. They're not going to do it. I'm stuck with Daniel Jones for good, for, for better or for worse, and sick and in health and all the, the, the wedding vows. I'm stuck with Danny, Danny Dimes. That's why I'm praying for Chase Young. Finito. Uh, Big Power's at it again. Hey, look, man, it's ice cold. It's winter. Power goes out. You got some real problems on here. Don't do it anymore. It's a nightmare. Go with Power Home Soap. Make it easy to switch. Hooking you up with battery storage with your installation. No more flashlights and candles. Power outage at the dead of winter. Power Home installs American-made panels. 30-year warranty. They are the number one residential solar provider in Michigan. They are building a movement towards cleaner, greener energy. You want to change it up? You want to see if it's right for you? You want to own your power and not rent it anymore from the power company? Simply go to powerhome.com. That's powerhome.com, or you can give them a call, 1-800-SOLAR-15. Schedule your free solar consultation today. Don't rent your power. Oh, with help from Power Home Solar. Did you know there's more than one Las Vegas? There's the Strip with families on vacation and questionable odds. Then there's downtown Vegas, the original gambling and entertainment venue. That's where you'll find the D Las Vegas. Book your stay at the D.com. Las Vegas, your home for Detroit sports in Vegas. This is Tiki Barber with a CBS Sports Minute. Sometimes, despite the best laid plans, you just make a mistake. That seems to be the case in Jacksonville, where the decision to sign Philadelphia Eagles Super Bowl hero Nick Foles to a four-year, $88 million contract with $50 million in guarantees is looking pretty bad now that sixth-round rookie Gardner Minshew has been named the starter for Week 14, and Foles will be riding pine for the near future. In defense of Foles, his season was severely disrupted by a broken collarbone that caused him to miss eight weeks, and now that he's back, the Jags' own line is so poor that he has little chance to make plays, but this is more of an indictment on an organization for thinking that they were a high-priced quarterback away from getting back to the playoffs. The issues run deeper from a declining defensive front and few skill position options on offense. So now, they're stuck with a backup quarterback who is still owed a ton of money. It was a good plan, but one that now doesn't make sense because of the dollars. I'm Tiki Barber. Head clogged with sinus pressure, congestion, and a stuffy nose? The worst. But you can get fast relief from Vicks Sinex Nasal Spray. It works in seconds and lasts for 12 hours. 12 hours. So breathe freely, fast with Vicks Sinex. Use as directed. Hi, my name is Christina Stumble, and I own Farm Girl Flowers in San Francisco. With my Spark Cash Card from Capital One, I earn unlimited 2% cash back on all my business purchases. Last year, I redeemed $115,000 in cash back. Yeah, $115,000. And that doubled our digital marketing budget for the summer. Thanks to my Spark Card, we had our best summer yet. Imagine what the Spark Card from Capital One could do for your business. What's in your wallet? Real Capital One customers pay for real stories. Credit approval required. Head clogged with sinus pressure, congestion, and a stuffy nose? The worst. But you can get fast relief from Vicks Sinex Nasal Spray. It works in seconds and lasts for 12 hours. 12 hours. So breathe freely, fast with Vicks Sinex. Use as directed. The business side of healthcare is growing fast, and Davenport University is leading the way. 
Our health information and medical case management programs are perfect for nurses, business people, and even retirees. You can learn online, real-time, virtual, or in class. Davenport is ideally suited to fill this new market. It's a quality, affordable education. Many students have jobs even before graduating. Call 855-DAVENPORT today. Davenport University. The holiday shopping season is here, and this year, your gift can start next year's good habit. Quip is something that's sure to put a smile on everyone's mouth, because it's dental care they'll actually want to use every day. Hi, Mike. Hello. Oh, my last blanket's almost done. I just finished vacuuming. Nice. Yeah. How does a couple tacos sound to you? It doesn't really sound great. Nothing does. And all I've had is a protein shake and two beers. Well, I need to eat something, so what sounds good? What sounds um, good enough? Let's put it that way. Maybe, maybe I could make myself some scrambled eggs or something. All right, you sure? Taco Supreme? Well, no, no tomatoes. Why don't you get me a turkey and cheese with turkey and, and cheese with mayonnaise? Not heavy mayonnaise, just light mayonnaise. I can always add. Okay. And I can eat it later. Sounds good. Would okay. You, would you like to? Do you like the the buns or no? Do you want? Do you want to get it in a wrap? Um, I think I might prefer the bun. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks, we'll see you in just a little bit. Okay. All right. Dear. I was just changing my wallpaper. And we are uh, on a orchard trail. Okay. Alright. Bye bye. Bye. When we were promised Big Ten championships, that it's our fault for making too high expectations. How dare he? It's it's unbelievable. Oh, I, Ben, it's 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 complete lunacy. I mean, again, he goes, well, you know, uh, they had beaten you for a while. We're not, we're not like Arizona where nine wins is an amazing so season and being ranked is the future of your economy. He said the only thing he does is, does is bitch and complain and then all the callers sound exactly the same.
just now turned 67. What happened? He got in his little car and he drove down to Little Caesars Arena. from winning the Big Ten. Here we go, the semantical oh, game. We were so close. But from putting we the close. program back on steady ground, which I know that wasn't his entire job yeah. description, yeah. but no, it's not yet. So through five years, would you say he's been more of a success than a failure? No, he's been right in the middle. Oh, come on. Pick a side. Right in the middle. <laughs> wow. It is. There's the soft dinkers. If you had to, to, if you had to pick. If you had to pick one of those two, more of, more of a success or more of a failure? I'd say it's 50-50. Do, do you put any stock at all, and I know you don't, but tell me how you, every time you say he should be fired and he's done nothing, what you come back to is 0-5 against Ohio State, which is a very fair criticism. He's one of the 10. Which is exact same as 0-5 at Ohio State. One leads to the other. It's In my mind, it's the same failure. How do you answer then um, in five years... The eighth best record in the country. How do you answer that? Simple. You beat garbage. Well, yes. then everybody else is beating garbage right. too. Right. When you're hired, somebody has man. to beat it's more like garbage. Alabama. It's like any of these other schools. You're hired for two games here. That's the big one. You're expected to be. Well, so that's whatever, average. whatever it is. Well, Alabama lost to the only two ranked teams they played. And guess what? Saban's catching heat. No, please. He's catching He's heat. Not. Whatever, and he shouldn't catch heat for that. Hey, well, then listen, then go down there and wash his feet. What do you want so to that's your answer to the eighth best record? Yeah, like, oh, look at the games. Army, Middle Tennessee State. Everybody has yeah. schedules like that. Hence, when you're a power program, it's like a nice program, good program, got a lot of talent, you're supposed to win the 10 games a year. You win 10 games a year, so they're yeah, a top 10 program? Well, that's what they're supposed to be. Well, they must be if they're eighth in the country during that time. Here's the problem. Trophy case in your Ohio State's bitch. That whole oh, nine you know, the trophy case, case is exactly you know right. But you have no answer to what, what I say. No, what, what is the answer? Oh, the answer is he has done something. What has he done? He I can hire I just, a chimney. I feel like I'm talking to Bobby again. Eight best workers in the country. I'm going to Michigan. Took and control control of the Michigan State rivalry. You see this? Has a winning record against every opponent he's played. This guy is so out of shape. It's not all. See, that's his only response. Because there's nothing, I'm not going to dignify you anymore. You're an embarrassment. No, no, I just yourself. said the only, you know how this, and you're going to hate this, but you argue like Boogie does, and that ain't a compliment. All right, let, let me tell you something. This is really, <laughs> really simple. And that ain't a compliment. This is really simple. Mm, you may be able to push around some 28-year-old kid on a 30-minute show. You want to come in here and do real radio for four I hours? I just was. I will decapitate. And you ran out. You listen here. You couldn't man. even answer. You I couldn't even answer. You. I 
will bury top you. ten record. Okay, you want to come in? You know what time I'm on. In control of the in-state rivalry. Wow, as MSU imploded. Congratulations. Wait, everything can't be everybody else's garbage. Hey, true or false? Did MSU implode or not? Can I give you a hug? <sighs> I'll tell you right now, you want to come in tomorrow. Did Michigan uh, implode against uh, Wisconsin? Did you get the count? Hey, did you, see, you see the Irishman this week? Uh, you see no. fed that guy into the wood chipper? I did not see the Irishman. Uh, you by 2.30. Mm. Watch yourself. Oh, please. Oh, please. Let's see if Bogey can do better. I got to break you guys up. If he ever gets here. All right, well, how about I just transition from that? Why don't you just shut up and hit the button? Well, I got to tell you about Hall Financial. I'm not going to do the hit the button without telling you about Hall Financial because you may or may not know. Right now, rates are within hundreds of a percentage point of their lows for the year and tenths a percentage point of lows for the decade. It's crazy right now. Also, you may or may not also know that Hall Financial is averaging 10 days from start to finish in the last few weeks for people applying to refinance. So what's that mean for you? If you have not refinanced in 2019, you owe it to yourself to check it out today. Call right now, 248 248- 308-5000 or just go online chat davidhomemortgage.com you'll most likely close before the end of the new year a lot of homeowners still need to reduce their rate shorten their term eliminate pmi or take cash out now's the time with these rates guys even though the media isn't reporting it the way they were in august rates are as low as they've been all year and very close to the lows of the decade Hall financial nearly a thousand now five star reviews from their clients for a reason if you want to check it out to see if something makes sense for you, call 248-308-5000 or go online and chat davidhallmortgage.com. 97.1 The Ticket Traffic. This report brought to you by Henry Ford College on 75 northbound before 14 Mile Road. There's an accident in the work zone blocking the left lane with the backup from 12 Mile. Also, 14 Mile westbound traffic is stop and go between John R. and 75. is just one lane is open. John R. traffic both directions stop and go approaching 14 Mile as well. Have you ever thought maybe it's time to make a move toward the future you always wanted? It's not too late to go back to school to get on track to a new career. Henry Ford College will help you find the right program and help you afford it. A new semester starts soon. Drive your future at Henry Ford College. Visit hfcc.edu. I'm Sean Penny on the WWJ 24-hour traffic center. Hey, you guys may think that that's like, yeah, it's on the fan. No, it is on the fan. Or pain. Do you or diarrhea. Sometimes all at once. Over and over. I spent years with the symptoms, but could never figure it out. No matter what I did, they never went away. So I decided to break it down for my doctor and get really specific about my symptoms. We discovered that exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI, may be the reason for my stomach issues. EPI is caused by my pancreas. It leads to diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, unexplained weight loss, and oily stools. The symptoms just don't go away. But EPI can show up with even one symptom. The good news? EPI is manageable. But to get to the right diagnosis, you have to break it down for your doctor and get specific about the severity of your symptoms. Visit IdentifyEPI.com to learn more and use the symptom checker to help change the conversation with your doctor. Brought to you by Abdi. Help Mother Waddles to help those in need by donating your car. Your car donation to Mother Waddles will provide food and shelter to the poorest of the poor. Call Mother Waddles today and change a life. Call 313 Waddles. This hour of instant feedback brought to you by Mike and Furrow of National Benefit Plan. For affordable health insurance, log on to nbphealth.com. Beaumont will perform free student heart checks for teams 13 to 18 at Fortson High School on Ford Road in Dearborn, Saturday, December 14th, 9 till 4. Sign up at beaumont.org slash shc. Details at 971theticket.com. WXYT FM and WSYT HD1 Detroit. Sports Station. Sports headlines all day, every day. From the sold by MarkZ.com Sports Desk. This is 97.1 The Ticket. Brought to you by Volunteers of America. As the fallout continues from Michigan's blowout loss to Ohio State, ESPN's Mike Greenberg laying into some fans that are calling for the head of head coach Jim Harbaugh, saying he's being attacked for a false perception about the program. The University of Michigan is not and has not been one of the elite programs in America before he arrived. 
It'll probably not be that way long after he leaves. Did you know the last time Michigan won an outright national championship in football was 1948? Do you know how many titles they've shared since then? One. Do you know how many national titles the legendary Bo Schenbeckler won at Michigan? Zero. Do you know the last time they won the Big Ten was 15 years ago? Ohio State has won it nine times since then. Those are facts, and Jim Harbaugh has almost nothing to do with them. Greenberg went on to say the Michigan's fan base really needs to look in the mirror and take a look at what could happen again if they'd like to get rid of Harbaugh. The two coaches who preceded Harbaugh at Michigan, Rich Rodriguez and Brady Hope, went 24 and 32 in the conference. Harbaugh is 32 and 12. He's won 80% of his games against everyone but Ohio State, and therein lies the rub. You want to make this all about Ohio State, but that is not a good idea, because a hammer and a nail have a relationship, not a rivalry, and that's what this is. Ohio State had beaten Michigan 10 of 11 years before Harbaugh came to town. The only Ohio State team to lose to Michigan since 2003 was coached by Luke Fickle. So perhaps I should just leave this with you in the form of a question. Is the problem right now on Ann Arbor the coach, or is it the expectations? Well, staying with Michigan, the basketball team taking part in the Big Ten ACC Challenge. The fourth-ranked Wolverines taking on top-ranked Louisville. We'll tip it off at 7.30, while 11th-ranked Michigan State playing host to number 10 Duke out at the Breslin Center. Look at it going at 9.30. Pistons looking to make it back-to-back -back wins tonight for the first time all season as they head to Cleveland to take on the Cavs. We'll tip things off at 7 o'clock. We have a ticket update desk. I'm Ryan Woolley for more.